Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fuji's Blitz and well basically I'm going to look at three things in one video here and there's a reason why I'm in the Scorpion G. Now recently I did two videos one was called when raging comes back to bite you and the other one more recent than that was learning to win and I played both these games yesterday and this is an example this first game is an example of why you really should be looking at YouTube guys to watch videos on players telling you how to play the game. There's a guy, bless him, who's gone off in the AMX, sorry, sorry the AMK 5120, the AMX 5120, and you can see him on the minimap. He's in the top left hand corner. He's all alone. Now you can also see on the minimap that there are three red tanks there four red tanks actually realistically and he's on his own he's isolated he's being smacked and he can't get out of there and he's constantly saying help 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 the thing is if we go to help him we're gonna die and the K91 is gone to help him so to speak he's now gone and he's gonna now accuse everybody of camping you say you're a bunch of campers and nobody is actually camping not a single player on my team is camping but because he decided to go all alone and basically find the enemy and not get out of there but decided to brawl with them he got wrecked and clearly it was everybody else's fault and this is the point we're trying to make guys <laughs> you know a couple of things you need to be aware of where your allies are you going off on your own it's never a good thing really secondly if you can see that there's trouble there don't brawl get out of dodge why well you'll get wrecked because you're gonna get swamped they're gonna know you're alone they're gonna know you're isolated and you're gonna get completely wrecked so I have no sympathy for that player unfortunately because he he went on his own and he had no awareness of the battlefield around him and it wouldn't surprise you to know that the player in question has you know something like three thousand battles i believe or something along those lines and this is the thing guys you, you can't jump into these tiers and expect that the tactics you have used in the lower tiers are going to work because they don't realistically when you start getting up to the bigger tiers the opposition becomes a lot harder now we won that game because of positioning patience and knowing our tanks this game i'm putting in because i just find this game hilarious so again i'm on the scorpion g now at the beginning of this game i play like a muppet for a couple of reasons one i did have bad ping um, i kept getting ping spikes in this game and at one stage i get basically caught up on the um, aeroplane, oddly enough. I'm not intended to get caught up on the aeroplane, intended to go up the hill, but I had a ping spike and when I woke up, I was on an aeroplane, which is always nice. But the one that makes me laugh in this is the guy driving the KV-4. He, he, he's just hilarious. So here he is, he's already asking for help. So again, they've gone that way and they're pushing. You can see on the minimap they're pushing, and they shouldn't be pushing, they should be taking defensive positions. There are four tanks there, and there are four tanks on each side. They, they need to not push, but the KV-4 is going to push, and he's going to push hard. And unsurprisingly, he gets wrecked, basically. He, he gets absolutely annihilated, um, and he's back in the garage before he knows it. This is where I'm, I, 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 I take this, I get smacked by a missile, of course. And this is where my ping troubles begin now, basically. So, I come around the corner, try to smack this WZ, and look at that, it bounces. Cut figures. There goes the KV-4. No, that's the low, the low, the low is gone. The KV-4 is going to go soon. Um, and this is where I'm struggling with ping, but hey. It's okay because ping will settle down in a bit. Now there are three of our tanks here. They've lost two tanks. Basically they lost the two tanks on this flank. We've lost a tank because they're brawling in the city, as you can see. 
Now, I want to get up here and see if I can get shots across. Um, I can't, and then I get a ping spike. Um, and there goes the KV-4. And all of a sudden I'm getting on an aeroplane, I'm turning around an aeroplane. It's just a whole aeroplane mess. We've now lost three tanks, all of them in the city. We've now lost, unfortunately. So I'm trying to my best to get over there. Um, KV-4 is having to get me. Scorpion G. Yes, what about Scorpion G? And then he's saying, an amazing team, because he decided to brawl. And uh, now he's saying, we're all dying. And yeah, we, we know you're all dying. We can see it on the mini-map. There's only three of us left. And then the T-30 has a go. And now I take him out. And now the KV-4 says, I think if I remember rightly, um, Scorpion G, amazing gamer. In other words, he's being condescending. He's being sarcastic. And this is what I mean why. You really should wait and not say things until towards the end of the game. Um, because now I'm just going to pick these off. <laughs> so it's two on three. Now it's two on two. And they're still having, they're still having a dig. And they're going to continue to have a dig. Um, I'm a one shot to both those tanks realistically. The T92 is a good player. He takes out the WZ. This allows us to do a pincer movement. He's going to go from the right, uh, sorry, from the left, and I'm going to go from the right. And we're going to move around and basically, oh, now now, now the fire, the Jag Panther 2 on the enemy team is not happy if his team, um, clearly. So everybody's not happy, um, apart from me and the T92. There's the low. Oh, I missed that one. And get into a position. The T92 is going to come around the corner. He's loaded. I know, I know that. I can see that. He's going to smack him hard, track him, and that allows me to finish him off. So, wowzers. And all of a sudden, KB4, oh, I'm crazy. <laughs> KB4 is not a happy man. So, myself and the T92 carried the team there. And the KB4 really shouldn't have opened his mouth. And the point I'm trying to emphasize is, again, Guys, be mindful. Just because you get wrecked, it's not the team's fault generally. It could, in fact, be your fault. Anyway, there is a reason why I was playing the Scorpion G in both of those games. Because there's a new thing called Scorpion G lockboxes. Now, you get these lockboxes from playing and winning a battle in tiers 5 to 10. And the lockbox will get plonked into your storage, basically. So you go into your containers and there you'll see I've got 10 of these lockboxes. And look, it's all great. And there's a thing called open. And it says go to the store because you need a key. Hmm. So I need a key to open the box. Why do I need a key? That seems a bit unfair. So you have to shoot over to the store. And under your bundles, you'll see these things. Scorpion G lockbox key, Scorpion G lockbox and key, and five Scorpion G lockbox keys. Now, the five keys are going to cost me $10, but I've got 10 boxes. That's going to cost me $20 to open the boxes with a 5% chance that I'll get the tank. That's right, 5%. So this is a twist on crates. So now you get the crates. The crates are there. They're yours. But you can't open the bloody things unless you buy the keys. Now, I'm not a fan of crates, really not. And I'm not a fan of this event, to be perfectly honest with you. So I forewarn you now, guys, if you're tempted, remember you've got a 5% chance. Don't think that you have to buy all the keys to open all the boxes, because you don't need to. They only last a couple of days anyway. So be warned. Anyway, I've been Fujit, and it's been three topics in one. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't already, press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. Cost you nothing. Puts a smile on my face. Go on, you do some replays. Send them to me, blitz at gmail.com. And I'd like to thank all my Patreons, um, who, without their support, these videos would be a lot harder. And yes, I'm ending all my videos at the moment with flying tanks. And why not? Flying tanks are great. I like flying tanks. I don't like it in the game when I'm playing the bloody ratings battle and I get flying tanks, which is what this was, but hey. Shit happens. 
So, in this current climate, everybody stay inside, if you can. Stay safe, have fun on the battlefield, and remember, happy tanking, guys, because that is what this is all about. It's having fun and being happy.